Okay, so today um, I'm going to show you uh, how to do um, hand sanitizer um, with heat. Now before I go into the video, I want to make a safety uh, warning first. This, can, this is actually isopropyl alcohol. This product here is isopropyl alcohol. Okay? It says right there. Contain isopropyl alcohol. And it also have a cash, cast number. Okay? That's the cast number right there. And I also have research into the cast number as a safety sheet for you. Okay? And there's one ingredient in there. It's called xylene. Now xylene um, is uh, something that they put in to avoid bitter. I mean, uh, to make it bitter so they can avoid people drinking it. That's what I'm trying to say. So they put xylene in there. Uh, some lab tests does show uh, irritations and things to blah blah blah. Uh, you can look at the, the cash sheet yourself. Um, but also too is that um, some people consider it as dangerous. Uh, but here's the thing. And here is my opinion. And that's why I am doing this. Okay. And this is how I do it. I don't recommend anybody doing it. I recommend people to research into it first and then make the decision for yourself. Now, since I got that warning over with, I try to contact the manufacturer due to proprietary products. They won't give me any further than that. They said that I should refer to the cash sheet, which that's what I have. Um, so, and I read around a lot. And they said that they put xylene in there to prevent people from drinking it. And also, too, if you put something that's supposed to be a little dangerous or bitter in this case, um, it is not considered alcohol anymore, and people won't drink the uh, won't drink the um, isopropyl. And yes, people do drink isopropyl. And fortunately, this is ninety nine point nine 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 eight percent. So. We are in good shape, but like I said, if you are against xylene or you should research into xylene, um, then that would be up to you. But this is for me, okay? And I do not recommend anything to anybody doing anything, but here's the thing. This is my last option. I don't have any other options. Alcohol is out, but here's the thing. This is 99.99998%. 3, 9 plus an 8. I am able to do 60, 40. So I'll be able to get 60, 40 out of this. So that way I am actually using more aloe vera gel. So even if 0.0002% of xylene, they said it's going to evaporate in seconds. Um, but since uh, I sold isopropyl alcohol evaporate pretty fast anyway I'm just gonna leave it a little bit before I touch things and by no means you shouldn't even touch isopropyl alcohol you shouldn't even drink it you shouldn't even do anything anyway anyway so now I got that safety over with I have put in about close to two-third two-third of a cup here and then I'm just gonna add my 40% in which is a little bit up to here. Okay, that's my line right there. Because I am doing a uh, two-third of a cup here. Almost one cup. Okay, it's a little bit over. Because I accidentally poured just a little bit. So I have to accommodate. Um, remember the uh, CDC recommended 60% or more. If I do just a third of this, I will be 70%. But remember, this is 99.99%. 9% alcohol, okay? Isopropyl alcohol, okay? So, that's easy as that. You do the same thing. The only difference on that is you change this. But like I said it before, because you, we can no longer find alcohol anywhere. There's no way that you would be able to find the alcohol to do this. Okay? And I also, too, have a video... 
and I will link it to here when I get a chance, okay, that I actually have my homemade, um, my homemade um, aloe gel right here, okay, that's my homemade aloe gel, it sat for a little while, so it's a little thick now, but you can probably, you know what, I can probably do the same thing because now I'm not, um, uh, no, actually, I'm okay. Just a little bit. All right, let me see. I changed my mind now. I'm going to put it in a little cup, and then I'm going to mix it for you so you can see what it looks like on camera. That it should be, I don't know, what do you think? Maybe a little bit, two scoops of this. There we go. It's is about, right now it's about, I would say, 50-50. So I need to put a little bit extra more. A little bit extra more alcohol. Ooh, I'm out of camera, sorry. Now, with iso alcohol, I kind of like it because it actually comes in a clump pretty fast. I'm going to leave it for a little while. And then I'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, so now you see... I'm doing my um, my own. This is from scratch with that. Okay. It's going to take a little bit. I'm going to leave it aside. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. But that was my own. Um, remember that was my own um, alcohol. That's what I did. Okay. That was my own homemade alcohol. And it takes about, usually for this, I see from alcohol, it takes about 30, 15 to 30 minutes to get to the consistency I like. Probably some people would like better than that. Uh, depend on the aloe vera. Because certain aloe vera, is this is thicker. This is one, I've, I really like this one. So it's a lot thicker. So now I got to get up to about, remember I'm doing 40%, 40-60, okay? So that's probably about right, almost there. So probably like well, 65, somewhere there, I would say. Because I didn't really measure correctly. Plus I pour out a little bit. So I would say about right now it's about, ooh, sorry, 65. Ooh. I guess I have to pull this down a little bit. I guess I'll set my camera. And it's going to take a little while. And probably a lot of people are going to like this one. Because like I said there's nothing left except for xylene. Which they said. And I've researched it around. A lot of people said. And this is not for me. They said xylene should escape in the seconds because it's so less in there. And they put that in there to taste it bitter. And so as a precaution, if you have pets, if you have kids, I wouldn't advise you to do this. It's because they can't lick their fingers or whatever. You're not supposed to lick your finger. You're not supposed to touch food anyway, regardless. When it comes to alcohol, this type of alcohol. Uh, even at ethanol or ethyl alcohol because they mix things into it to prevent people from drinking it Yup, people do drink this if you research it they would Okay, so that's a little thicker now. Just wait a little bit I'm gonna come back to my gel here Okay and I'm gonna add a little color into it I'm going to drip a little drip into my color. Sorry. I have to move a little bit here to get my color. You can see the camera shakes a little bit. And I'm going to do green. Because I like green. Hope I didn't put too much in there. Ooh.
Okay, this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to show you in one second. Sorry, I'm a little cam off camera here, but I'll still talk so you can see. It's still clumpy because it hasn't, it hasn't gone through his thing yet. That's it. So make sure to mix it a little bit. Let it go through a thing. And see how it's green? Ooh, I'm on the camera again, dying. See how it's green? Okay, so that's what gonna take a while to get to where it's stage, and I use this green. I know I'm trying to make it fun to make a green color. Like, oh, it won't be that green because this is um, this is gel green. I don't know. Maybe you guys would like it. That's just full coloring, okay? Then yes, you can eat the my old, my homemade aloe vera. I'll, I'll post that link to the up here. That way you can make it fully from scratch. Ooh. Okay, now it's gelling up a little bit. It's going to take a little bit more. See how it's gelling up right there? I'm going to have to sit here and just... Usually I just mix it and I leave it alone. And then I pour this... I pour it into my dad's thing because he works, um, he works like in public. So I try to mix it for him all the time. And he uses it a lot and I tell him not to, you know, touch his lunch or whatever with it. Okay. So now you see it's a little liquidy. Okay. It's going to come out pretty much a gel gel form, okay? Just wait a little bit more because I... I got to end this video because I want to make it really quick for some people. But keep mixing, okay? That's all you have to do and it will thicken up. Like this right here. It's called uh, infusion or uh, emulsified. I'll mix it. I'll try to mix it really quick for 30 seconds. See if it does it, okay? <laughs> Just a little fun here. It's a little bit now. Look. It's a little bit better now. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you on camera. Put it on your hands or whatever, okay? But remember, hold it, okay, when you're doing this, hold it and let it dry before you touch anything, okay? Let it dry. Because, like I stated, xylene is in there. And now, look. My hand's really smooth. I'll do it one more time. It's already dry already. See it? But I'll do it one more time. And it's really smooth. I really like this one. I really like this one, to be honest. But, I can't tell that to other people. I'm just going to say that I am the one only doing this. And I do not recommend anybody doing it. That's all I'm going to say. That way I can avoid dramas. But I show you the, the cash sheets. And I'll do it one more time for you right here. Before I go. It says isopropyl alcohol 99.99998. Plus xylene 0.002%. That's like nothing. Okay. Like I stated. They put xylene in there. So that way people won't drink it. Okay? Now I just almost done with my hand. I just go like this. Now remember you always do this. Okay? Even with regular hand sanitizer. And that's it. And it's all dry. Okay? And if you're wondering what this one is. I would say 65 close to 70%. And look, it's coming to a gel right now. It's probably going to be really thick after about 30 minutes. Because remember, this is only only 15 minutes in. I just keep the mix it, okay? Other than that, I'm going to end this video really quick. That's all you really needed. And, uh, oh, you can find this right here. I'll list it right here for you. You can find this of all those stores, okay? And that's all you needed. Just that and aloe vera. Other than that, that's about it on this video. I hope you enjoy the video. 
And like I stated one more time, this is how I do it. Because there's nothing left. Other than that, that's about it. And I will see you in the next video. Okay?